Good to everyone, my name is Zach, and you are watching Zach Fu TV. And I did it rather easily, and by did it, I mean if you watched my last video, I maxed out my strength, and now I have maxed out my accuracy as well. I pretty much completely mid maxed my character, so he's she, it's a female. So she is 100% strength and 100% accuracy while keeping everything else kind of where it was except for ooh, career mode except for the what is it footwork and i will show you why that is in a second also i broke the game completely like i legit did i had to <laughs> turn off the game and message the devs this is a pretty new game so i mean i'm not going to be mad about it i was disappointed though but i had to go tell the devs so I was like, bro, <laughs> this happened, I broke it. So, um, I'm all over the place right now. I did discover that if you s that you train, like I figured out how to unlock this stuff, if you didn't know, because I didn't know at first. If you just train like one thing every single day for like a whole week and then take like, and then rest, it'll unlock stuff. So, luckily I unlocked archery which does which is perfect because it kept my strength from going down and it it's like a triple to three times up accuracy which was perfect because i needed to get accuracy up but it makes your footwork go down so i have zero footwork which i guess that might have had something to do with me not being able to hit him i'm getting ahead of myself so i maxed out my strength and accuracy my accuracy is my accuracy is 95.28 same thing as strength, which I addressed last time. They don't go to 100, they go to 95.28. So I think my problem was, you know, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself again. So I also unlock blocking and then up accuracy and make strength go down. So we're definitely not doing that. And then we have strength and blocking, which makes speed go down, which that might be what I do next. Because I'm just like maxing out one thing at a time. So, which you think would be great, but so far it's sucking. Because apparently that does not... I don't know. I don't know if this game was made to be like that. So I can do bl blocking now. I don't know. And then I unlocked this was fly catching, which is the grossest training in the world. But that's not good because that'll make your endurance go down. Which you definitely need endurance. That's why you'll punch once a weekend. But anyway, I used it. I fought. I did this and then fought to try it out last time. And I used a trinket, so my accuracy was 114%. So I think I broke it, because I don't think this game was meant to handle that. And I did 12% landing of punches. And I got knocked out in the first round. So you can imagine my disappointment. So this time, we're just gonna... We're just gonna schedule a fight. And I'm not gonna use a trinket to make it... I'm not, so it doesn't go over 100, because I think that was the issue. So we'll just train everything normally. We'll train everything that didn't get done. I'm not even going to bother with footwork, to be honest. Maybe I should look up what footwork does. Because I was thinking that footwork was a defensive thing. But if they use footwork... In the formula for how likely you are to land an attack, then that might be why. I don't know. I really doubt it is, though. Because that would be stupid. Because this game isn't like an RPG where every all your stats are included in the formula. You know, it's like accuracy times strength times something else divided by their defense and then that's like how they figure out if you hit them or how much damage you do this game is straightforward this is you know speed is how often you punch strength is when you hit them how much damage you do it's like you know it's very easy to understand because each stat does one thing and that's it it's not like a complicated formula at least that's what i've what the fuck am i doing at least that's what i've come to figure out so if i'm wrong then that's there's probably a lot of other people that are completely wrong I am rambling off because I have so much <laughs> I have so much thought in my head right now about what the hell is going on. So, okay. 
um, accuracy or speed. Yeah, see so you're right here. 95.21, my 94.21. See, I'm wondering if that's so it doesn't go over 100. Because I wonder if, like, since I went over 100, the game reset it. So since I was at 114%, or just 114, that it calculated it as 14. And that's why I couldn't freaking hit this person. So, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. I messaged the devs right away. So... I'm sure they're going to look into it, because they're pretty good about it. Because I had another issue with this game, because it, it crashed sometimes when you were between rounds, and they immediately were like, okay, when does it happen? Is there anything you do specifically? What kind of computer do you have? What are your specs? Blah, blah, blah. They're right on it, so I mean, they're great people, as far, I can, as, far as I can, you know, tell. So, well, what do I do? What am I doing? Um, all right, we'll just do this. I don't... Yeah, and see if I use a trinket, that gives me another 20%. Yeah, so that gives me well over 100. So we're not going to do that. Because I don't want to... Whoops. I don't want to risk effing it up. This is a very serious video. <laughs> I'm very serious right now. Yeah, even if it goes down a little bit, I'll just train the other stuff too. Let's go, Esme. Even if they go down a little bit it's fine I don't care 96 that's fine it's not gonna affect it that much because I don't need it to be perfectly maxed out plus I don't think it'll go down in this short amount of time anyway hopefully <laughs> yeah I didn't go down so we're good. Oh, my blocking is actually really good. I didn't even notice that. It's 43.39, and my technique is okay. My speed is horrible. I guess you can't go down further than one. My footwork is one. I am the definition of a plotter. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you don't know what a plotter is, it's a boxer that doesn't bounce on their toes. They stay flat-footed, and they kind of like walk around slowly. Brawlers do that a lot. Lin King. That's a cool name, actually. Alright, let's get this started. This is kind of exciting because this is about to prove my theory about whether this shit's broken or not. I did notice. Oh, she is not the best. That's surprising. Literally, like the last three fights. I have fought people that has that have amazing speed. And I was like, I wonder if that's because my speed's terrible. So the game's trying to balance it. But she's not. So frail, not the best, hot, nope, that's good, because she's bad at the at things I have. What is she good at then? Incredible footwork, okay. Low so she shit at everything but footwork. That doesn't sound that useful. I'm a sniper and a tank at the same time. You would think I would kill everyone on accident. All right, here we go. I'm still... Okay, I'm hitting more than last time. Also, she might be... She might not be nearly as good. She still hit me a bit, but that's because my defense not very good. Also, I don't know how the difficulty in this game ramps up. Like, I don't know if it gets harder, the better your record is, or what. Also, this fight is not going well. you think this would be one-sided. I would think so. Also, I wonder if... Jeez. See, I, th I still think I should be hitting her more than this, because my accuracy is maxed out. So even if she has good defense, I should still be hitting her. I mean, it makes sense that she's hitting me, because my footwork is, is terrible, which is fine. But I just thought I would be hitting her more than she'd be hitting me. You know? Oh, 
as that would make sense, especially since her accuracy isn't very good, which is what it said before the fight. So, like, if she beats me, that doesn't make any sense to me. Because she's terrible at everything except footwork. And I have two stats maxed out. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Please. Dang it. Come on. Really? <laughs> I wanted... Uh... I would do this, but I don't have that much health. I'm afraid she's going to knock me out. What did I do? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, well, that works. I beat her. <laughs> I did all out, I think, instead of the defensive mode. Whatever. I won. Look. Punch is thrown. 42. Percentage land. 21. That's horrible. Maybe I should max out. Well, see, maxing out footwork would be difficult. Because one of my... Eh, I mean, I, uh, I probably could. Maybe we'll max out footwork next. I'm just maxing out one stat at a time. Which, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a terrible idea, according to this game. I guess you should be raising everything equally. I guess that's what they assumed everyone would do. Maybe I'm just... Though, I don't know. Maybe they didn't count on somebody doing what I'm doing. Which is weird. So that's why you hire people to try your game. So that the unexpected happens. See, look at that. Okay, I expect that to happen almost every time. Where we trade. And they hit me, and I hit them. But my strength is maxed out. So when I hit them, I give them three concussions. The damage dealt 125. That's 40% of 10. Three? Yeah. About. So I hit him three times and did 125 damage. That's pretty good. Yay! Am I gonna win? I would think I would win. I don't know. This is probably one of those tournaments that, I mean, I don't know. I already did this tournament, so this is probably a tournament that I don't need to be in anyway. So I wouldn't think that the competition would be that bad. My blocking is pretty good, too. So, like, I don't know. My defense should be fairly good. Maybe I should look up what footwork does. <laughs> I don't know. I think it says it in the game. I think they have a definition thing in the beginning of the game. They say what everything does, but I don't know. Okay, now, I don't know. Now I'm destroying everyone, which is what I thought would happen. Yay, I'm in the finals. Three and O. Oh. So, weak, not good, no worries, mad, just sad, unstoppable, not the best. Why does everyone have good footwork and that, that's it? That's weird. Oh my, okay. Well then, that, <laughs> that tournament was a success, I guess. Yay, confetti! I like how the confetti is a completely different type of graphic than the rest of the game. Because it's not pixel arted at all. Alright. Well, that was much better than my experience before I got on camera. Which was a prize fight, by the way. So, I don't know if it's because... Dang! We went up to 11 and a half. I didn't even actually know it was at eight and a half before. Our, our energy is at zero. A championship match has been scheduled next month. Hells yeah. Oh wow, we have 5k. I don't even think that's enough to upgrade the gym. Yeah. 
is it? No, it's not. Huh. Also, if you don't know, if you don't have this game and you're watching, upgrading the gym, um, all that does is visually make this look cooler, which isn't a really big deal, and it makes you have more points when you train. Like, it gives you better, better stats. I don't know if the negative diminishes at all, but the positive goes up. That's all I know. Uh, clock out. We need a rest because our health is, or health, energy is at zero. We just fought seven people in a row. I think. I actually don't know how many people we fought in a row. I wasn't paying attention. Let's look at the schedule. Never mind. It's not, I don't know when it is. Bing. <laughs> I like how one of the one of the training is catch. It's like let's play catch. That does not help blocking. Having a baseball thrown to you is not the same as having punches thrown at you. Just in case anyone was wondering. And I know this for a fact. Because I did boxing and MMA. So I can tell you by 100% playing catch is not a good training method. Oh, uh, it'll be funny. You're asking people to play catch, and you're like, why? Everyone's like, why do you want to play catch all the time? They're like, I have a boxing match. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> in the next month yet? Nope. Good. So we'll train again real quick. Which I probably shouldn't train. Do this once. And that's it. I, don't, I need to get my I need to get my energy up a little bit. It's too low. It's far too low. All right. And oh, it's early in the month. Cool. Street championship. What the hell does that mean? Get out there and prove you're the toughest street fighter or road warrior on the block. Um, oh yeah, I never did the Blowjo tournament. I gotta do that still. Um, okay. So this is a organized street fight. Interesting. Considering that if you're an amateur boxer and you do any training whatsoever, guarantee will freaking crush any street fighter or any dude that doesn't any fighter on the street that doesn't have training guarantee it that's why it was always annoying if someone tried to start a fight with me because it's just like can you not because you don't even know what you're getting into i'm gonna brutally beat you into the ground without even having to try which luckily didn't happen very often, so it was fine. <gasps> I am ready to participate. I am eleven and four. All my stats are I mean they're not good, but they're 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 there, except for footwork. Look, see, I wonder if footwork is really important. It's starting to make me think that because everyone is Everyone I fight is really good at footwork. Flimsy, incredible. Okay, so speedy. So this might be interesting. He is 7 and 8. Why is he fighting in a championship? His record is garbage. His accuracy... Okay, his accuracy is weak, so... That's good. So he might not hit me at all. Thumbs down. Kind of bad. Quit now. <laughs> Quit now. So he's very fast and has good footwork. 
or she. I, I keep forgetting these are females. All right. So I think I'm going to win. You would think so, right? If I have maxed out accuracy and their accuracy is shit. That would make sense, right? I'm not completely retarded. Look at that. First punch she throws drills me. What? Wow. Huh. Um. So, I think they were lying about her strength. Considering her most powerful punch that she hit me with was higher than mine and she did 140 damage so yeah that's weird and my accuracy her accuracy was higher than mine and it said that her accuracy was shit and mine's ma okay yeah see Huh. Huh. I should have the devs watch this. Watch my series. Be like, hey guys. Oh wow. That stressed me out. Losing that. Yeah. Probably because I was like looking at her stats and I was like, sweet. I'm going to crush her. And then she annihilated me. And now my whole reality is bent. Because <laughs> I'm like, what just happened? Yeah. I'm going to look in after I, I'm finished. I'm going to see what footwork does because i actually don't know what footwork does i know what footwork does in real life but this is not real life this is a game because if this was real life i would be pretty much mike tyson and if i hit them once their jaw would become unhinged so all right well my schedule or my schedule god my record what is this Oh, look. Hey, it's all the things I have yet to achieve. Oh, I did. Reach 10 rounds in a match without getting winded. Oh, I did get teeth for breakfast. Gross. I mean, my record's still pretty good. I'm, what, what was I? 11 and 5 or something? Something like that. I don't know. All right. Well, this was like kind of supposed to be a tutorial on how to mid-max. And it was a tutorial on how to break this game. How to, how to be very disappointed. How to be very disappointed in a game when you... Actually, it's not... It, I didn't really put that much work into it because I was going to say putting a lot of work into this game, but maxing out one stat is not hard. Especially when you get they give you the training that triples your points towards one thing, so... All right, well, I think I'm going to call it now. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to stop. You know, you know what I'm saying. So I, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.